everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys. And guys if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And, and if you want to contribute to the channel, you can always contribute via the link description. Send us a super chat when we're live or click the link description as well to, to contribute via PayPal or send your thanks as well, guys. But let's get straight in it because it is Brighton 4, Manchester United nil. Yes, Manchester United nil after being spanked by Brighton and them, man. The Seagulls have shattered on Manchester United. Head. They have shat it on our head. They shouted, they flew by us a couple of times and pop, 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 pop. Hey, man. What? Man, am I having bad luck? And they say it's good luck for burst shit on your face. Well, it's not good luck for us. And it hasn't been a good luck because Manchester United didn't perform, didn't turn up. Midfield got had by Brighton and then, man, Manchester United are a disgrace. What a horrible performance from these men for the weekend. To think there's two games left and you think these players will turn up and show us something for next season, for Ten Hag to enjoy, to see what they've got and prove to themselves that they can be in the team for next season. But they haven't. These men failed to turn up and just let us down. All I have to say in this game, it was a hard one to watch. Especially during the watch long, I wanted to turn it off. I couldn't take this heavy defeat from Brighton. I thought we was going to struggle in this game. But I didn't know we was going to do this bad. I didn't know we was going to get hurt like this. Box left, right and centre into the corner. And get jabbed up and get halved up all over the ropes. No, I didn't expect that. Overall, I thought it was a poor first half, you know. In that first half. It was poor. Manchester United was slow at the start. Oh, it was automatically on the back foot. And I had enough of seeing Manchester United always on the back foot in the first 20 minutes. We cannot be living like this. Always worrying, stressed out, looking left, right, and our backs all the time because we're just getting it. We're, it's just easy. It's too easy. Defensively, we was poor today as well. Varane, <laughs> ah, what a bad game for Rafael Varane and Victor Lindelof. And also Alex Tellez. They were shit. Shit. But in the second half, as well, it even got worse. Goals were pouring in in the second half. Manchester United capitulated in the midfield and defence. Talking about that game, the first goal we conceded by Caicedo coming from a long shot, a low drive, long shot outside the box from Caicedo after getting the ball off his, uh, one of his companions, taking the shot, beating David De Gea in, in his right-hand side bottom corner, which was so easy for them as well. It was so damn easy. And when it was half-time at 1-0, we knew we are going to concede goals in the second half, early minutes. We are going to get that. We are going to get that. And yes, we did. Indeed. Cruella, 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 whatever his freaking name is, Cruella, Cruella de Ville, Made it two goals to nil for Brighton and them mans, you know. Brighton, Munich, we was playing today because we definitely wasn't playing Brighton and Hovey and we was playing Brighton, Munich today. Yes, making it two nil. And then the third coming from Sean Gross, easy goal. We were so open on the left-hand side, I mean on right-hand side for Dalo. Did one, two, Gross was in, making it three goals to nil. And then eventually the trust on goal, which hit his hand, which I thought it wasn't handball because the when that da Dalot tried to claim it, it, it just hit his hand and went back in. It was 4-0 by that time, and we was embarrassed. We wanted to dig a hole and put a head inside there because we have to go back to work on Monday and, and just face the facts. Guys, wear your face mask, even though you even though it's not even though we don't need to wear face masks. And if your manager tells you to take it off. Just tell them I refuse to take off because I don't want no one to be able to identify me and say, is that my man? No, I don't want that. I don't want the embarrassment. If you're going to school, this is a rare mask as well. Cover your face, man, as much as you can because there's no face, no case, guys. It was an absolute hellhole and dreadful performance for Manchester United today. Though boys should be embarrassed. They have let us down. And I just don't want this post that they do on social media. We're sorry. Oh, we would 
have done better today. We'll do better next time. You know, we go again, we go again, we go again. Shut the fuck up these days, man. Just don't text. Don't post anything. Just go home and go to sleep. Go to bed. Like, I want to send some of these guys to, the, to, to bed, you know. Because I've had enough. I've had enough. It was full-time 4-0 for Manchester United. And when it comes to these players, Varane was shit. Lindelof was shit. Tellers was shit. The midfield was shit. Everyone was terrible. Everyone just let us down. My God, I am done with these guys. I am checked out a long time ago. And I know you guys checked out. These players checked out. Everyone at Manchester United, including the, the board staff, man, have checked out. They checked out in November when they refused to sack Oli. They gave up the season in November. In November. It's all on them. It's all on them. These players need to go. They're just not good enough. Man of the match today has to go to us for enduring this shit. This hellhole. Donkey of the match, the whole defence. Varane was shit today, guys. He was trash. Also in love for trash. Tellers was trash. Well, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivorian Spice. I just don't know how I do this. One more game to go. One more watch along to go for Manchester United until we can take a rest from these guys man it was being an absolute embarrassment guys you let me know what your thoughts on the game was you let me know who your man in the match was and you let me know who your donkey of the match it was as well because your boy Ivorian Spice is out man remember to keep it united and keep it red united peace and I'm out I am done